Hello, I'm Nils. In this video, I'll be talking about the health benefits and anti-aging benefits of a compound called malic acid. Nothing in this video is intended as or should be taken as medical advice. I get a little leery sometimes of videos that talk about supplements playing miraculous roles in the body. But malic acid actually comes pretty close to fitting that description. Malic acid is a very tart tasting organic acid found in some types of fruit and also produced internally in the body. It's a component in the Krebs cycle, which provides the energy that keeps our cells in operation. It's a key player in the creation of adenine triphosphate, or ATP, a primary energy carrier which plays a role in both DNA replication and muscle contraction. It promotes a process called glycolysis in the mitochondria, which helps our cells extract energy from glucose, converting carbohydrates into energy that can be used by the body. If its role in energy conversion was all that it did, I'd still be interested in taking it as a supplement. But it has several other very interesting anti-aging benefits. When applied topically, some studies suggest that it increases the hydration of the skin and the production of collagen. Other skin benefits may include fewer blemishes, fewer fine lines and wrinkles, more even skin tone, smoother skin texture, and a possible improvement in acne. It's included in a lot of skin and beauty products for these reasons, and because being an acid, it can help with removing dead skin cells through exfoliation. Taken externally, it's been found to extend the lifespan of C. elegans and also to increase NAD levels in the body and to improve the ratio of NAD to NADH. Another key benefit is that malic acid increases the absorption of creatine. A study published in the journal Octophysiologica Hungarica in 2015 looked at the effects of a creatine malate supplement on both sprinters and long-distance runners. After several weeks of supplementation, the researchers noted a significant increase in human growth hormone in the sprinters and an increase in lean muscle mass in both groups. The long-distance runners also found that there was a significant difference in the amount of distance that they were able to cover in their runs. Malic acid also appears to increase both stamina and cognition, particularly when it's taken along with magnesium. And one recent study found that a combination of magnesium and malic acid significantly reduced the muscle and soft tissue pain associated with arthritis. One form that combines the two compounds is magnesium malate. In this form, it has benefits for bone, joint, and liver health. Possible side effects include lowering blood pressure, which might be good under some circumstances, but bad in others. When taken internally, malic acid can also cause stomach upset due to its sourness, but it's generally recognized as safe. It's been used for decades, actually, as an ingredient in foods and cooking. If you want to increase your malic acid levels, you can do so by taking supplements or by eating more fruit. Natural food sources include blackberries and blueberries, pomegranate, cherries and apricots, peaches, pears, and plums, and also some types of citrus fruit. Two of the richest sources are watermelon and apples. As much as 100% of the naturally occurring acids in apples are in the form of malic acid. So fruit is a very good source, but one problem is that it can be very high in fructose. So some people prefer to supplement with malic acid. There are lots of good supplements. The one that I'm currently taking is from Kitchen Alchemy. 
It's a food grade powder designed to be added to jams, jellies, and other food items to give them a tart taste. I actually like adding a little malic acid powder to yogurt. Then mixing it in with some berries or chunks of apple, another good source of the acid, and sweetening it with some allulose or stevia. If you decide to take it as a supplement, you might remember that it works well with both creatine and magnesium. I like taking some creatine at the end of my workouts. I sometimes add some malic acid to it to help with absorption. For cognitive benefits, I like taking it along with magnesium, either as magnesium malate or by taking a scoop of malic acid along with some magnesium threonate a special form of magnesium which crosses the blood-brain barrier. So thank you for watching. Also just a reminder that these videos are sponsored by Do Not Age, which is one of my primary sources of anti-aging supplements. They don't sell malic acid, but they do sell CERT6 activator, NMN, resveratrol, calcium AKG, and a number of other products that are part of my own anti-aging regimen. If you decide to buy something from their website and would like to get a discount, you can get a 10% discount by using the code word PATHWAYS. Be sure to type it in all caps. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.